So. So, were these tough acts to follow or what? When Brian got done, I said, you know, I'm just going to go up there and say what he said. You know, it makes me think I should have written something down. Um, first, I want to thank all of you for being here to celebrate with us tonight on this very special occasion. It's beautiful. <laughs> he did it. Now Maggie will read the trip. So without further ado, I'll be giving you eight pieces of marriage advice I found on the internet and how New York City <laughs> prepared Maggie for them. An ode to Traggy. I am Mike. I am not the best man. And listen, Trev, I'm not even salty about it. I don't even care. Honestly, dude, I don't think about it that much. I swear. All right, if you can, please go ahead and stand with me as we welcome in for the first time, the Dominic! I promise to always put you first in my life, regardless of what might interfere, such as my job, my rapidly declining golf game, <laughs> and my inevitable future new side hustles. <laughs> I promise I will not allow us to get caught up in the routine of life. There will always be new dates, new places to visit, and memories to create, because new experiences are worthless to me if I don't get to share them with you. I promise to never quit on you. Life will come with bumps, hard times, and mistakes. We will work through those together, and we will come out of them stronger with a better understanding of each other. I cannot put into words how lucky I am to be standing across from you today. I love you so much, and I cannot wait to officially call you my wife. I love you. this quote a while ago and it encapsulates every promise I want to make to you today. It reads, I think sometimes we expect love to be this easy, perfect thing, but it was never meant to be that way. Real love is about acknowledging our own imperfections, working through the rough patches, and choosing each other, even on the days when liking each other is too much to ask. That's what love is really about. So Trevor, I promise to choose you in perfect and imperfect, in sickness and in health, in birdies and double bogeys, <laughs> when Michigan wins and when Michigan loses, when the Lions lose and when they lose again. <laughs> I promise to love you even when I don't like you. I promise to be honest and open and I promise to give, you, give it to you straight when I think you should apologize. <laughs> I promise to learn and grow with you. I promise to be the best partner to you that I can be wherever this adventure of a life takes us. And fi finally, I promise to choose you for the rest of my life. Trevor, do you take Maggie to be your wife and all that may come ahead in this life? Maggie, do you take Trevor and all that may come ahead in this life? I do. 
You have each decided as individuals to come together as one in this union. You've declared your intent to be married and have vowed very beautifully, might I add, to one another all the elements that make a marriage. You have shared with each other some bling to show the rest of the world that where you guys exist, someone else does too. It is with great honor that I get to pronounce you wife and husband. You may share your first kiss as a married couple. All your secrets You wake me up every night to come over Then you fall asleep with your head on my shoulder We keep on pretending that we're All right, just if you can, please go ahead and stand with me as we welcome in for the first time The Dominic! As I've seen Maggie blossom into the amazing person she is today, I can't help but feel a sense of pride and admiration. I've been so blessed to have witnessed the milestones of her life, and now to be here in this beautiful moment where she stands before us as a radiant bride. As I look at these two today, I can see the love and happiness they bring to each other's lives, and I couldn't be more thrilled to welcome Trevor into our family. So let's raise our glasses to Maggie and Trevor, May your life be filled with love, laughter, and Michigan football. Cheers to the newlyweds. Trevor, like I mentioned, I was devastated when Maggie moved away from New York, um, but knowing that that decision led her to meeting you could not make me happier. And in the short time we've known each other, I've really been touched by your affection and your warmth for Maggie, and I can't think of a better partner to compliment her. So Trevor and Maggie, I love your love. I love you both dearly. This is where you got married. This is where your wedding is. This is where all your amazing friends and family are here to support you. Looks amazing, looks incredible. You two are gonna be so great together and you deserve all the happiness in the world. We love you both. Can we all raise a glass to the new husband and wife? And in a sweet dream. relationship has 
um, offsetting positives and negatives, right? So for example, Maggie's got positives, Trevor's got negatives, they offset. And vice versa, obviously Trevor's got a ton of positives. When two people join in marriage, they marry into a family. And while we have not spent a great deal of time with the Dominics, we know them to be a loving family, which has embraced Maggie from the very beginning. As Trevor said, you are fiercely loyal to your family and friends. You care deeply and love deeply, which is why we are all so very grateful to be here to celebrate with you two today. I love you, my darling.